shouldn't it be cool that any new area of your life you want to go into in an evening, you could photo to read five books, and in an hour and a half, you could have activated those books the next day. You're ready for any meeting that is on that subject. There's a problem with respect to time. There's so much that you need to read to keep up. So if you have a lot of preparation to do, especially if things have come up that you hadn't expected, you get very little sleep. need six months to get through it. So truly, I wouldn't go to libraries. No. Out of 10 million bits of information per second that are processed by the brain, 40 bits reaches you. There is so much that's going on beyond your conscious ability to process it. It's bizarre. This material that I have to go through, I have to know it all, and I'm only going to be able to go through it in 100 words a minute. The last couple of years I've been um, studying stock market courses and all that, and it's pretty stressful when you don't make money when you actually lose it. Suddenly, the section that I was given to manage was beginning to decline. I wondered what I was going to do. If you talk to people that get into the trading field and, and how important it is to keep current with what's going on and keep up with the work, and I did, but I had no social life whatsoever, and that's when I came to photo reading. So what photo reading has done is it's codified a system to capture that power for you in reading regular reading you read one word at a time in photo reading you start with the whole concept maybe the way we're supposed to start which is what the cognitive psychologists show us which is what the accelerated learning experts show us if we want to uh, the report which was fairly technical Two people that I met and were writing a book and uh, had asked me to help them with that. Actually, I seem to have understood the plan better than some of the people who had been involved. And I photo read it for 15, 20 minutes. And I photo read 18 books and I woke up Monday morning and I just had the whole book was right in front of me. I decided you want. But because now it will allow me also some other free time, I'll be able to expand my horizon. So now I look forward to having a much broader scope of uh, life's experiences. I don't think I'll ever go back and conventionally read a nonfiction book. The practice of photo reading does more than just help you to, to, to read more. It really begins to activate the real power that's within each of our lives. There's so much that you need to read to keep up. So if you have a lot of preparation to do, especially if things have come up that you hadn't expected, you get very little sleep. I spent a lot of time just being in the office, traveling, you know, coming back home at night, and at night I have all of this material that I have to go through. I have to know it all, and I'm only going to be able to go through it in 100 words a minute. For a few years now, I had um, problems with uh, reading. Sometimes I'll have problems like losing my concentration or get through a page and not understand what I was uh, doing economics. I struggle to finish essays. I spent all my time trying, just trying to keep up with the work. And I did time in photo reading. You start with the whole concept. Maybe the way we're supposed to start, which is what the cognitive psychologists show us, which is what the accelerated learning experts show us, if we want to absorb a subject, immerse yourself in the subject. Managing and photo read them and able to um, find out certain key points that uh, other people have found that success is in their business. And you can consume an incredible amount of information in a short time. Yes, I started writing essays in two hours. What used to take me two weeks of solid study. Now it takes me two hours and I get better grades on them. You're just absorbing all of it all at once. And as you do that, what is your brain? 
I can now cover much greater amount of professional academic or uh, scientific material. We want to apply this wherever we can. We need to bold comprehension. Photo reading is a um, course that actually excels you in reading. You develop a faster speed uh, and uh, actually a better comprehension. I rely on it. Got a scholarship as a result of that. And as a result of that, the company excelled, but I became the youngest executive in the company. Now you look at a stack of books and you say, wow, I've got the opportunity now to just devour all that knowledge. And that's just a, an incredible feeling. It gives you a real high. What we want to do is want to keep opening up. You have to do that by boldly taking the challenge. The value of photo reading has been mainly um, being able to do anything you want. But because now it will allow me also some other free time, I'll be able to expand my horizon. So now I look forward to having a much broader scope of uh, life's experiences. I don't think I'll ever go back and conventionally read a nonfiction book. The practice of photo reading does more than just help you to, to, to read more. It really begins to activate the real power that's within each of our lives. But this power is available in lots of other applications of your life. Being able to learn anything you want, being able... And maybe I'll end up at a library or something, you know, find some area that I like and go, well, well let's see see what I can put into this genius brain here.